Hey guys, and here we are with our episode 4 of Road to the Premier League with Dagenham and Redbridge. And in this episode, we are in the transfer window, in the January transfer window that is. We'll be trying to make at least one or two signings, and there's actually one signing in particular I'm looking at uh, by a player named Burko. Uh, in the previous episodes, one of the subscribers wanted me to sign this man, but I was unable to due to um, his recent move to the club, I believe. But now that's the January transfer window, I'm able to get him. So I'm going to try to do exactly that, and I currently have my scout looking into that. So we'll try signing him in a few days. But first things first, we're going to look into our youth staff. One of our scouts is scouting in England, and he actually found a solid young player, Jonathan Robinson, actually. 46 to 60 overall and 67 to 89 potential. So this guy looks like he could be something in a few years. So we will sign him. And in one year, he'll be able to play for the first team squad. And then we are going to try to sell, hopefully, one or two players, including a striker who's extremely unhappy at the squad or the club because we have way too many strikers for a 4 3 3 formation that we play. So we'll try to sell him. He's worth around 130000 I believe, but we'll try to sell him for about that, maybe slightly more. Nothing so far, except Jake Reed wants to play for the upcoming match. And we actually had an offer for this uh, man who's very unhappy right here. So we will offer a hundred and thirty thousand, but he's worth hundred and twenty actually, not hundred and thirty. Let's see if we can get that amount of money for him though. And Jake Reed wants to play for the next match. He's a little bit concerned that he's on the bench. And actually I'll give him this start because he is playing very well these days. So is Woodall, but I just want to see what Reed is made out of. See if he can get this game, or get the game winner. If not, get a few goals and win the game for us. Here we go. And Dagenham is actually a one and a half star team now, which is good. Well on our way. I believe we started as a one star team, but nonetheless, half star is a solid improvement for the first season. And just take it one step at a time. But here we go against Accrington. <clears throat> And Dennis, Dennis scores in the fourth minute. He has been playing great while Hines is out with an injury. And if he keeps this up, who knows, he might just stay in that right wing position for the rest of the season. And at the halftime, it is 1-0. Oh, where he gets subbed off, but Alito scores. Oh my god, Alito. He is the top scorer for our club and one of the top scorers in the league, and he's a left wing. And this looks like Alito's goal wraps this game up, and we take it 2-0 the final. That is a great victory for us. It's a shame Reed was unable to show his magic because he was subbed off fairly early, but at least he got to play the game, and that should keep him happy. And he's happy for me letting play. And these guys want for 120000 well, we'll accept that because we do really need to get rid of this player. Here we go. And submit offer. And with that sale, we may look into buying an, another player. Player is sold. We get a hundred thousand to use extra for that. And also, I asked for some uh, extra cash. I'm pretty sure I got, I don't know, another hundred thousand, maybe a bit more, for um, this transfer window to buy some players. So that's partly why I'm able to have, or I have enough funds to purchase Burko. And we have received an offer for Jake Reed, our young striker. And we'll stall on that right now because I'm just going to check how many strikers we have currently and if we can get rid of him or not. Because I know he's not going to get to play that much. Might have to keep him, actually. Yeah, because we have Murphy, who's back from injury. And yeah, I might actually keep Reed, because we only have three strikers now. And we'll have to decline that offer, or just ignore it, really. And um, wait for another time to loan him out if we have more strikers and I think the squad is looking fairly good yep I think we're good to go with this squad and we'll simulate this match see if we can get another win under our belt and we did have a 
bit of a slight dip in form compared to the last episode. We are now at seventh place, but we're still in a playoff position, and if we can win the next few games, we should be back to where we were earlier in the season in winning position. And here we go, Dennis scores again, back-to-back -back matches. That is great, but they equalize in the 33rd minute and is one all at halftime. Shields comes on, center back, and Alito, these two wingers both scoring again. Wow, that is crazy. Our left back gets a red card, but can we hold on for the victory? Yes, we can. Oh, man. Strikers aren't scoring any goals, but my god, our wingers are scoring them all. Well done. That is another victory. Now with a little bit of time remaining, I'm going to try to pick up Burko. See if we can convince him to come over. We'll offer... Well, since he's worth 90000 we'll offer 100000 for him. Let's see if we can pick him up. I believe we should be able to pull this off. The only thing that may be stopping us is if he's um, happy where he is and he does not want to move, which could be a bit of a problem, but with a bit of extra money, you can always help convince people to move clubs. And hopefully we get a... Yep. Yeah. That's no real surprise that they reject that since he's worth a lot more than 100000 Or to them, he's worth a lot more than 100000 So we'll offer... Go with... 150. And then they'll probably give us a counter offer, which we will go slightly below or go straight on that if we feel it's a fairly good price. We have four emails, wow. And we also have an offer for our center back, one person who I was trying to sell earlier. But we do not need to sell him too desperately, so we'll counter offer with 90,000. Yeah, I do not want to loan uh, Jake Reed out, so we will reject that offer. But here we go, 230,000. We will go slightly under that, we will go 220. And they will likely accept that, so looks like we're part of the way there if they do. The big problem is going to be the wages, of course. That's the hard part with most of these players, trying to convince them to come to a lower club. It is always hard, and you have to give them a big wage boost, a lot of the time at least. And hopefully they accepted that, and they did, perfect. And they want to offer 70000 counter with eighty. And if we, they accept that, I might try to buy a center back. Okay, two contract. We'll, we'll have to give him a big boost. We're going to have to change our uh, budget for wages. Going to increase that a fair bit. And here we go. Whoops. There we are. Now let's offer him hmm, 32.50, five years, crucial player. See if Burko likes that offer. I'm hoping he does, because this, he would be a great player to have in our squad. Player with a lot of potential. Oh, wow, Luis Suarez went to Real Madrid in this transfer window. Hmm. I guess that's no real big surprise, but I wonder who Real sold. Jake Reed, another offer for him. Oh, we sell him. Oh, yes, and Perko accepted that. Yes, boys, here we are. And they decided to match that. Oh, this is a great fucking hour, apparently. Wow. Okay, we'll accept Perko. And now that we've picked him up, we might need a center back, to be honest. How many center backs do we have currently? I don't think we have any besides our starters. Yeah, I guess we'll need to pick up a cheap center back. Just to add some depth, but we do have fullbacks who can fill in those positions if we're unable to get a decent buy. What's our budget at right now? Yeah, it looks like if we're going to get a center back, it'll be a cheap one. Or we could just hold off on any. 
but might as well look into one. We'll look into the free agents, see if we can find one. Well, nonetheless, that is a sweet signing, Burko. That is helpful, to be honest. And there th is this center back, but I think he wants 3,000, so we can't really go for him. We'll see what this man wants. Hoping for like a thousand. Yeah, that's perfect. Twelve hundred and fifty. We'll offer him one thousand. Five year deal. Important player. Likely not gonna be that important to be honest, but to convince him to come we might have to pretend like he's gonna be important to our club. But if we don't get him that's not too bad because uh, we do have a few f uh, fullbacks, like I said earlier, who can fit in. He gives us a counter offer and he wants a 1250. Well, we'll give you that 1100. And hopefully, he signs or accepts this offer. Does he? Oh, and he does. Perfect. Another solid signing to the club. Though I'm slightly curious as to what Burko's overall is. We'll just skim through this, or advance through this transfer window, and check out what our two new signings are overall-wise. And the transfer deadline day has ended. A few emails. The squad monthly report. We'll check out how... Oh, Jonathan Robinson is now 16, so it's not even next season. But it looks like his stats went completely down, which is a little bit unlucky. But he's, he's still a player I could likely flip for a nice profit. Likely won't be using him in the future too much. But we also have a monthly squad update or scout and um, nothing too spectacular that's for sure this guy and this guy could be better in the next month so we'll just continue scouting those players and see how they do next month and Hoyt wants to leave next transfer window that's a shame I have to change his mind on that, but this is coming to the end of the episode. We'll check out how those two players are overall wise, and we'll have to end it. Fairly successful transfer window, though. Burko's overall 60. That is great. He is a great player to have on our squad, to say the least. We'll throw him on the bench for our first match. He might break the first team squad in the near future. And this center back's overall 57, so that is also solid for the 1100 he's being paid. I could deal with that. And Heinz will be back soon. So this is the end of the episode. Um, currently we are in the semi-final, or the area final for the J-Paint Trophy. So for the next episode, I will likely be in the final and will be playing that match. So hopefully you guys look forward to that. And if you have any other suggestions for future transfer windows on who I should get, just comment below. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it.